Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, got something a little different today. I'm in here in the shop and I've got to make a uh, intake manifold for our Generac engines. And uh, what this is, this is the old intake manifold that we used to use when we ran a uh, Weber carburetor. And uh, we made our own intake manifolds out of uh, inch and three eighths exhaust tubing. And uh, I need to make another one, and this is uh, this is one of the old ones that we have here, so you can kind of picture how this gets set up in the fixture. Uh, I've got my flanges bolted in place to where they go in the uh, on the engine. Uh, the cylinders are offset an inch, so I've got one spaced up an inch higher than the other one, and uh, this sits up here like this, so. What I can do is I take my other flange and if it's a, uh, we can make two different size manifolds. Uh, this ones are what we run on our airplanes because we pull the shrouding and everything off. Uh, if it's running in a uh, pusher configuration uh, on an airboat or something like that, it needs to be a little bit longer to uh, allow for the shrouding so we can move it up and make it a little bit longer so it works for the shrouding and everything but this one it's going on one of our airplanes and uh, one of our older airplanes so I'm gonna make a uh, another one and uh, this is the uh, we just buy the tubing that's pre-bent 90 degrees this is inch and three-eighths and uh, I've already got my measurements for where I cut the legs and everything so I'll get those cut. Okay, so I've got these cut to this length where they sit level and uh, they're centered up in this flange here. And uh, now I have to cut my length to meet in the center. I've got everything cut. Uh, it's ready to tack it all together and start welding. What I do first is I just clamp me a straight edge on there and get a few tacks on there before I put it on my fixture to make sure that this is straight instead of you know having a bow in it one way or the other. I can clamp it, get it tacked together, make sure everything's flush here and get a nice tight fit. That's all I'm going to get done for today. Uh, these are welded up complete on both ends and uh, I've got welded around there and uh, I've got it tacked on both sides of this flange and what I'll do now is I come back and I heat this up with a torch and open it up a little bit and that'll uh, allow me to spread it open to fill in this gap with the pipe and not a bunch of weld so I'll open that up and uh, then I'll come back and I'll finish my weld around both sides of that and clean up the hole and uh, 
weld on my uh, fitting for my carb heat. It'll be finished, but I uh, ordered a new welding cart the other day, and uh, it's Friday, so I'm gonna go pick it up so I can play with it this weekend, and uh, I'll come back and I'll finish this up later. Until the next video, thanks for watching. See ya.